And hello, my fellow Vault Dwellers. Welcome to another Fallout 76 farming video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing all of you who have been following, following my chainsaw farming videos and chainsaw building videos the best locations to find all four that I'm aware of known guaranteed spawn locations for the chainsaw. So, let's dive right into it. First location we're going to be hitting is Clarksburg, which is northeast of Fallout 76. Now, when you fast, lo fast travel into Clarksburg, you're going to appear here. And what we're looking for is the Clarksburg Hardware Store. So we're going to run in there real quick. And if you just follow this path that I'm about to show you, it's a very quick and easy way to get in there, get what you need, and then get out. So go ahead in here. This isn't really a difficult area. Uh, it's usually got either robots, scorched, or super mutants. Nothing too terribly difficult. But once you clear this room, you're then going to run upstairs, up onto this little ledge here, and then on this shelf, there'll be a chainsaw. Now, the only time that chainsaw will not be there is if you have, <coughs> excuse me, if you have recently farmed it, or if somebody else in this server that you join has already farmed it. So it will always be there. It is the only thing that spawns on that shelf, no matter what level you are. And you can very quickly grab it and then run back out over here. And then once you're out of range of whatever was attacking, you can then go ahead and quick travel to the next location. Now the next location that I usually hit is going to be the White Powder Winter Sports. There is another one that is a short distance from here and this is the closest waypoint to get there without power armor. Now if you have power armor, you can also go to top of the world and you can jump down, but I'm not gonna show that route. I'm trying to make this a route that everyone can do without needing anything special. So when you travel into White Powder Winter Sports, which is just west of um, top of the world at the bottom of the mountain, what you're gonna do is you're gonna run over to the back here. And what you're looking for is when you get up to the top of this hill, you're going to see a large electrical tower, uh, the electrical line tower. And you can see it right there in the distance. And what you're going to do is you're going to run over towards the base of that. Now, once you get within range of the base of that, you're going to see a trail. And that trail, which I'm going to show you here in a moment, is what we're looking for. Because that trail can very quickly be followed. Hold on just a sec. Let me go ahead and kill these guys so they don't affect our fast travel later. So this is what we're looking for right here is you're going to find a little trail as you get up the side of this. You're just going to go up the hill a little bit and you're just following this uh, flat spot and you're going to find right here is what you're looking for. So you'll notice that there's all this like walkway, there's a lead deposit there if you need it. And then when you come around here, you're going to see that there's like a little ledge walkway system that you can get up. So we're going to follow this up and around and it's going to lead us to a camp. And in that camp, you're going to find a tent and a chainsaw and an axe if you need it. So as you can see, there's the second chainsaw for this particular run. There's the tent that you can check and if you need a multi-purpose axe for some reason, there it is as well. Now, once you get to this location, the next location that I usually go to, which is south of White Springs, is the Mountainside Bed and Breakfast. So we'll go there next. Now the mountainside bed and breakfast, the first time you come in here, you're going to have to take a different route because there is a key. And I will show you where the key is, but I'm not going to take that other route. So I run up to the second floor. You can run right in the front door and start following the route through the doors. You'll need to lockpick a level zero door to get up to the top here. But when you come in on your own, you're going to have to come all the way up here grab that bed and breakfast key because it will allow you to quickly uh, move through here without really worrying about it. But once you've got the key and you can unlock the door that I just came through, you're going to come into this room. You're going to run downstairs and on the right, right here on the shelf, as you can see, the third chainsaw. Now, once you have this chainsaw, there's usually a lot of enemies because I don't kill them all in here. What I usually do is, is I will just run out. I'll head this way back down the road just to get out of range. They don't tend to follow very quick, so if you run far enough, fast enough, you can quickly get away without having to engage everything. If you want to do a full clear, you absolutely can. Now once I get here, the fourth and final location is going to be the Ranger District Office, which is far to the east of this location. Now when you get to the Ranger District Office, 
This is the most dangerous location for farming this, so make sure you're of a level that can handle the content that's out here. You will have 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60 level stuff spawning out here, as well as sometimes Scorch Beasts flying overhead. Uh, once you get out to this location, however, as you can see, there's some high level robots this time. You're going to come into this back shed, and it's not here now because somebody must have grabbed it, but right here on these two top boxes, you will see another chainsaw. Now, this one is one that is very well known, so this is the one that when I go to farm chainsaws, I find missing most often. So I don't normally stop here too often anymore. If I'm in the area, then I do it, but you can get another one there. So, I hope that helped.